ओके सो आई हैव इंस्टॉल्ड अ पैकेज फिंगर फिंगर पैकेज हियर फिंगर पैकेज हियर ओके before uh, installing any package we will see its consistency how we can see its consistency is uh, by using this command rpm ipn ivh ifn ifn test so my package name is finger 0 something uh, this is the version of my finger uh, package so if you if it see uh, if it give the output as 100% then we will we, we will go ahead with that package by you can install it okay so if it doesn't so if it gives some errors so uh, the it is not consistent consistency Th then you need to check that error you must resolve that uh, okay error if if they fail in some if if a sort of some uh, dependencies are there you need to in install that dependencies also so dependencies are nothing but uh, supporting packages to install a package you must have some pack supporting pa packages also okay now so okay after checking consistency by using this test command you you can install that package okay rpm ifn ivh and that package name is finger okay so while installing or testing it, this consistency you must go to the directory where your package is there you can install a package locally locally means in that directory where you are having that package using rpm using rpm you can install a package locally only there is a drawback of rpm Okay, you must go to the folder or directory where your package is there. There only you can install it. You need to move. You must know where your package is there. Okay, where your package is, and you need to go there. You need to check its consistency, and there you can install it. Okay, after installing, it will return it. So after that, uh, check that uh, whether that was installed or not by using rpm ifn qa that finger command. Okay, like this. so if it is inst it was installed so it is giving the output like this and also you can by checking that uh, finger command and, uh, uh, by this way also you can check whether it was installed so it was installed so it is giving the output for finger command it is giving output if it is not installed what it will tell is command not found okay so that you can find it whether it is installed or not so next way oh, so, oh sorry next uh, uh, thing next uh, command in rpm is uh, to remove a package uh, we have installed a package now to remove a package uh, how to remove a package is rpm ifn e e r e v h again you can use v h also okay e for erase okay so now, just now i have installed a package finger now just uh, we'll see how to remove that package using rpm so rpm ifn E E and uh, I am using V also E V H also. I know whether it uh, that delete deleting progress also. I want to see it. Okay. This but while deleting you must be careful. Okay. You must. Uh, you must be particular which 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 uh, package you want to delete. Please get the details. and uh, give that package only okay sorry okay we we it will doesn't okay we we both it hash only mm -hmm, okay okay sorry we we hash uh, it doesn't require hash i think okay it was uninstalled i think so we'll check it whether it was uninstalled or not by using rpm ifn qa finger so it is it is not giving any output now so uh, it was uh, uninstalled or you can check with the finger command finger the username so no such file or directory it is telling so so it is uninstalled so by using rpm ifn e no need of this vh ifm e and that package name you can uninstall a package okay next 
so how to install rpm ivh package name how to uninstall rpm iphone e and package name okay next one is uh, to see the information about a package before installation so by using this command you can see that one okay check it rpm iphone qip rpm iphone qip and that package name here q for query i for install p for package okay yeah, check it rpm iphon qip so my package name is here it is bingo because it was installed now so before installation checking sorry we'll go with some other yeah. nfs Mm -hmm. okay okay uh, look here so to do this one see, to see the information about a particular package which is not installed move to the directory where you kept the package i, I have moved out of that uh, package now folder so that's why it, i'm in slash now so just move to that uh, to move to the previous directory use this one cd slash okay now i have moved into that packages for packages directory now do that okay again it is giving error Ooh. NFS. Hmm, okay look here nfs utils okay i have not uh, installed the nfs now look here okay nfs uh, this is the package for nfs okay so if i use rpm iphone q qaf that package name uh, exactly i don't remember the entire package name. that's why i have given this star so it is giving the information about this one before installation it is giving like that name nfs utils version release date installation date not installed that's why it is giving yeah, if it is not installed then i will use qip if it is installed then just use qi only i for information okay there okay mm. this package also concerns everything everything about that uh, package okay like that you can find it it is a not uninstalled package if it is installed package So if it is inst installed package, suppose VSFTPD is there. I think it is also not installed. SH, I will check with SH, open iPhone, open SH uh, package. Okay, this is also not installed. Uh, which package is installed? Check it, check. Just wait, wait a second. Check the install, some of the installed packages. Okay, just now we have seen that uh, genome package no genome bluetooth package genome iphone bluetooth it is also oh sorry bluetooth spelling mistake not install not install not install just wait rpm iphone qa we'll see what are the install packages are there oh okay uh, i'll go with some this one python PyCurl. it was installed now no. 
I'll go with this shift insert. Okay, look here. So now it is giving the information about the install package. So name Python PyCall version release date installed it when it was installed. Okay, the group uh, size of that one everything. Okay, so if you want to know the information about the install package, you need to use rpm iphone qi. If you want to know the uh, package information about the package which is not installed, then you need to use rpm iphone qip. QIP. Okay, already you have seen that one. So QI, QIP, you must be QI for installed package. Already it was installed. Okay, installed. QIP means before installation. If you want to check the details about that one, dependencies, what are the dependencies, what are all those things. QIP, you use QIP. Okay, next command. Uh, okay, now to check the package of a particular command. Okay, uh, from which package the command is uh, running. So actually, suppose for example, if you take cat command, okay, cat command, you know how to use a cat command, but you don't know how where from which package this cat command is running, or based on which package. Okay, if you want, if you install which package, uh, this cat command will will be available. Of course, by default, uh, this cat is available in RPM now, but we don't know which package uh, because of which package it was running. There, you can find out that by which. Uh, by using this this which command which command then it will give the path of that file path of that command where where it was where that uh, file was installed okay to so, uh, to see the to check the package of a particular command first check the install location of that command the where that command was installed for that use this command which cat okay which cat my command name is cat now so check that uh, after that uh, check uh, you you will get that uh, file location so using that file location by using rpm qf you can find the package of that okay so do that with generally comments are nothing but these are binary files for uh, normal users uh, those are the binary files that are installed in bin slash bin for uh, super users it is in s bin installed okay so now i want to know where the location of this command from which location it is running okay so my cat command is in this location slash bin okay so if you want to if you have doubt go to bin cd slash bin ls so what are the all these you 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 know all these commands some of these commands kill command lin ln no okay all these commands cat dd df hyphen h cp ch phone ch mod okay cat command here okay it is in slash bin so it is giving the path name like this so it is the path of this command file location of this command so if you want to know the package name by which it is running cat running just uh, use this command rpm iphone qf so the path name is this one file location is this one cat for cat okay sorry slash bin slash cat okay so if you install this package core utils iphone 8.4 then only cat command will work. If you uninstall this one, cat command doesn't work. Okay. The same way, look. Uh, uh, suppose F, we are running f disk uh, command now. So which f disk? So look here, f disk command is from s bin because root user only can have the authority to use this f disk command. It is from s bin. Super users uh, command. Okay. So if you want to check it. Sorry, my system is something wrong. Okay, F disk. 
okay so if you use uh, this one utils and linux and ng this one then only it will work app disk command like that you can see uh, uh, which uh, about a command from uh, on which uh, it was installed okay so if you want to know how that command is running and which package it is running to to know that information okay you will find that one first what you need to do is by by using which uh, command okay you you need to find out that location of that command uh, where it is bin or has been after that by using rpm hyphen qf that location path location you will find the package name of that command okay this is uh, one one thing next uh, thing is uh, so sometimes uh, it may be required to install a package forcefully why that situation will come means sometimes uh, your package is already corrupted okay so if you install it again okay i uh, i will clear your doubt later nagarjuna okay uh sometimes uh, your package is corrupted okay you want to install it if you install it it what it will tell is uh, it will tell uh, it is already installed but it will give wrong output there again if you want to install it forcefully then you will you will use this command rpm hyphen package name hyphen hyphen force so uh, to the, to know that uh, clearly first i will what i will do is i will i will corrupt one command uh, and i i will try to install that by simple iv iv command later i will uh, do that by using force command okay after seeing uh, this you will understand what i want to do is okay so now you know mount command so what the output of the mount command so it will give what, what are the mount points on my system okay it, all these are the mount points so you know date command mm -hmm. date what it will do is it will give the output like this date date and uh, everything okay date to time everything now i want to corrupt uh, my mount command with date okay so how to corrupt it is simple thing first check uh, where my mount command was installed so here it is bin mount so simply what i am going i want to do is uh, check uh, date also where date date uh, is installed it is in bin now copy this uh, slash bin this uh, file because a file only date it will give the output there is a script in this uh, one I'm copying my date command to this. All right, it will ask thing. All right, in slash bin mount command, my script is there. Uh, if you uh, if you run my mount command, I, that will give output is like this. How it will give me? So that is depends upon this uh, script in bin slash bin slash mount command slash mount file. There's a file script file is there okay if it is uh, if you want to get the output of date command it will uh, give the output from this uh, script file okay so i am corrupting this mount th that is i am replacing this slash bin mount with this slash bin date command so yes okay now it was all right now check mount command using mount command now what mount command is giving output as like this mm -hmm. like this it is giving the output of date command now so it is corrupted my mount command is corrupted so because this file is corrupted now so now check check uh, where my uh, from one uh, which installation my mount command is running so for that you must give the path name bin slash mount so from this package only 
so if i reinstall this package my mount command will work properly am i right so check it so just install that package check whether mount command work properly or not okay so rpm iphone ivh shift insert okay i'm sorry we need to move package okay rpm uh you need to move to the package uh, folder it's because uh if you want to install a package you must move locally to the packages folders only now mm. and packages okay now try here again it is telling no such file or directory mm -hmm. 